Hey guys, another video. Um, slash blade, slash deaths. Today I'll do like a map, show you some cool trick on bosses, talk about flask a little bit, and talk about gem setups. And then afterwards I'll roll some maps and show you kind of what I do to try to sustain red maps, even though I'm like sort of not that successful with it. But I'll just do like a quick precinct for now. Okay, so this has two unique bosses. I'll show you like a way to uh, make your bossing a little bit easier. So that's that. Um, my flask right now, um, I mentioned this before, but you may want to consider using double Vinktars. If you feel comfortable with a uh, single Vinktars, you can try using something more fancy on defensive flask like uh, Rumi's Concoction for block or like granite or basalt. So you can get more defensiveness. I'm using like 5 damage flask because I feel like I don't really need defensiveness. But then today I was getting hit by like, I was playing double beyond maps and then I had like vulnerability on the map. And then it would, a Bameth would come out. No, a Naem would come out. The guy who shoots like physical spike things and that would hit me for like 8k in a map. So during that map I had to run like a basalt and a granite in order to not absolutely get destroyed. And uh, if you're playing like, you want to play a little bit more safe, you should probably run more defensive flask instead of 5 damage flask like I do. I think the uh, Vinktars and the Diamond are absolutely mandatory. The rest are not so much. You can run with a single Vinktars, but because I have this entire time, it's not really that bad, but there are some situations where if you pot incorrectly at the wrong time, you know, like right now you have no charges and you're looking for the next pack, and then if it happens to be reflect, you are in a sticky situation. You don't want to have that. So double bank tours makes it a lot safer. And that's why I kind of recommend it. Especially if you're like in a hardcore and, or you don't want to die. Then double bank tours is really good. If you don't want to run double bank tours, do something with roomies. Because the reason roomies is good is a shield has usually 25 block. And you can possibly get like 7 block on the tree. Um, near the duelist so that's like 32 or 25 to 32 and then rumi's is 30 it goes up to 30 and then you also can get another nine percent from the flask effect nodes so you can start hitting you know 25 plus 39 or 32 plus 39 so you can start hitting like 71 maybe block with rumi's up and that's a lot of block that's huge for defensiveness and it makes rumi like really strong if you're willing to not run double bank tars or you want something more defensive, at least something more defensive than what I've got because I've got a very uh, offensive flask setup. So that's with flask. You can just run whatever you like really. It's uh, What's mandatory is like I said the diamond and the bank tars and then the other flask you need to be able to roll three suffixes bleed, freeze, and uh, and uh, remove shock for the bank tars. So if you can run those suffixes, then you can put whatever flask you want. And because of that, you can't run five unique flasks because bank tars um, bleeding and freezing will just mess with your mess with your character survivability a lot. So that's the last thing. Okay. So with the boss, what you want to do is you can play some like little tricks where you throw the spectral throw before you even go in the boss, and then when you run to the boss, you can like pretty much one shot them that way so that's a little trick you can do during mapping for spectral throw you like have the attacks loaded in the air you throw them in the air and then you run through the monsters uh, a boss for example after you have a billion attacks in the air and then it will like kill the boss a lot quicker or at least damage the boss a lot more before you start engaging in a fight in a fight to the death with the boss so that's a cool trick you can do for spectral throw it seems like really obvious so in case you didn't know there's some other like random tips that like you can have like if you hover over this you can see the exp remaining on your character page but anyways more about that later the today i uh i switched off added coal for faster attacks because i was just doing too much damage to myself on minus max maps it was making me really sketch although i wasn't one shining myself it was just too much so i switched off for faster attacks and you can really just use whatever you want, even like Pierce Gem, someone in stream suggested today, that's fine too. It has some more damage than an added cold probably. But the thing is like on certain re no regen maps, you're going to want to use uh, added cold if you turn off your herald and you still want to shatter. 
So like no regen maps, maybe you're forced to turn off your herald to make it not so annoying. And in that case, your your cold damage is uh, almost non-existent. So maybe you want to use added gold in that kind of situation to freeze monsters. So that's that. Uh, now let me show you some of what I do for rolling maps. Some of the things I do. What I found works is you just need to dump a lot of money into the maps. Especially like the red maps, you can't sustain if you just roll single pack size and uh, and quantity. So let me show you just like, uh, I'll show you this one, this one, this one, and this one, okay? So I'll roll you four maps, just typically what I do. You just outcome first, because you gotta get the mirrors. This is fine, you you see there's 30 pack size, 103 quantity, this is quite high. Normally you don't get maps this good. <clears throat> for this, you just gotta watch out for volatiles, don't walk up the monsters. And you should be okay. You can't run any reflex. Uh, so this one's actually pretty good too. So I don't roll past double pack size. Even though this is like 78 quantity, maybe that's not the best. I'll still do this sort of map because the pack size is really large. <clears throat> it's good for EXP. So stuff like this where you don't have any pack size and it's just 76 quantity. It's absolute garbage. You don't want to run that. Stuff like this won't give you returns. I don't think you can sustain this kind of red map with this kind of quantity and pack size. So things like this, where you start getting 95 quantity and 14 pack size, you can stop at if you want. I think this is good enough to sustain like reds barely maybe. So like 80 quantity, I don't think it's good enough. 99, I would kind of play these, but if you're looking for getting maximum EXP, if you want the maximum EXP, you want to roll as much pack size as possible. So, something like this, that's like something you stop at. So, those maps are there. And I, I normally play this kind of map. I could show you a bit more. I'll show you like these. Here, I'll roll all these for you. So you can see what I do. Uh, if it's like some unid, you want to scour it. The other option is you can evolve your maps if you don't really like what they're uh what they are, but you don't want to spend too much money. The thing is you have to be able to handle all the map mods uh, or else your evolve might produce something you can't handle. So normally it's not this easy to get dull packs, it's just like one in eight or something, so don't expect to get it this easily. Stuff like this I would run double beyond just for a lot more exp because this stacks with the beyond map mod on on the map device so these are all okay just gotta really watch out for the reflex something like this there's no reflect monster life everything else is whatever wow it's pretty lucky Um, yeah, something like this you can run, but if you want, like, the harder you roll, the more, uh, the more chance you have to run a higher map. See, the stuff like this, Reflect, it's really good map, 11640, but I can't do it because Reflect, my character right now can't do it. So, yeah, the harder you roll your map, the better returns you're going to get. So, if you roll your maps, like, say you don't want to do this kind of map, even though it's, like, decent. Um, you can keep rolling and try to get something better. And like the more chaos you dump into it, the the more returns you're gonna get. So if you roll these kinds of maps like this, you see how much pack size I have, like at least 20, 24. So you do this and you just keep like chaosing it until you get something acceptable. And once you get that, you just run these maps and it should give like decent returns with this high of a pack size. So that's what I've been doing, and it's been like not that great, but still better than um, nothing. There's really not much choice you got. It's just dump money into it or not dump money. And uh, of course, you can run Onslaught or whatever. These all give 20 quantity, I think. So that's how I've been doing mapping. Uh, I think I'll end the video right there. See you guys next time.